Have you ever watched one of the movies that come out and you're looking at the lead action star and you're wondering how he went from being so scrawny to so big in apparently such a short period of time? Like if you look at Thor and you look at the people in 300 and you're sitting there wondering like why do I have such scrawny biceps? How did they go from being that to that? Well, in this video, let's talk about five case studies from the big screens and how these guys in particular ended up gaining weight so quickly. What's up, guys? Alex Hine here, author of the book Master of the Day. All right, so case study number one is Gerard Butler in the movie 300. I mean, just look at the before and the after picture. It looks pretty dramatic, but as you'll soon see, this is actually probably the least dramatic body transformation I'm going to feature here today. So let's look at the obvious factors here. In this picture, number one, Gerard Butler did not gain that much weight, all right? He didn't gain like 30, 40, 50 pounds like some of these guys did. And he mostly actually just cut. So he cut a lot of weight. There was makeup used in the movie to even highlight the shadows on people's abs. And he got pumped up before a lot of the fight scenes where he had to be, you know, the charismatic, muscular dude. Now, there's even a saying in the fitness community that losing fat or getting cut appears to add 20 pounds of muscle. Now, this is kind of like an anecdotal thing, but you can take the guy at the same weight, a person at the same weight, male or female, when they lose body fat, the definition itself can make a person look incredible. This second case study here is Chris Hemsworth in the movie Thor. Now, obviously, before, he looked like this. He wasn't a thin dude, but he was an average body weight. And after, he was truly massive. Like, this is a big, dramatic transformation where Chris actually gained a lot of weight for this role. Now, here's a direct quote from an interview with him on how he bulked up when he said, I feel as if I've been busy, but all I've been doing is eating all day. Eating when you're not hungry and taking in that amount of food is exhausting. So number one, we know he was eating kind of like a bodybuilding type meal plan, which was every two to three hours, typically rice, broccoli, and chicken. His workouts, on the other hand, were typical also bodybuilding splits. So for example, on Monday, he'd do chest for six to 12 sets, Tuesday back, Wednesday arms, Thursday legs, and then Friday shoulders and abs. So for Chris Hemsworth, it was hammering down tons of food and typical bodybuilding splits. Now, what about Mark Wahlberg in the movie Pain and Gain? So Mark Wahlberg, first of all, was already a weightlifter. He's already a big dude that obviously stays consistent in the gym. You can see between movies, he's already fit and he stays pretty big. Now, he got a lot bigger for the movie Pain and Gain, and this is a direct quote from what he was doing. In an interview with E! Online, he said, I was eating 10 meals a day and drinking mass gainers. I was even drinking my own, and I created this line of supplements with the retail chain GNC. It was a lot of work. There was even a lot of getting up at 2 in the morning to eat another meal, and I was still full from the meal at 10 o'clock. Now, what about his workouts on the other hand? The workouts very much resembled Chris's bodybuilding splits, where on Monday, he would do biceps, legs, and back. On Tuesday, triceps, chest, and shoulders. Wednesday, biceps and legs. Thursday and Friday off. And then Saturday and Sunday, biceps, legs, back, and triceps, chest, shoulders. So his secret was hammering down a disgusting amount of food, as well as typical bodybuilding splits and a lot of volume. Tom Hardy is a bit of a different transformation. Before, he wasn't necessarily that fit. He was just kind of like a normal body weight looking guy, not that muscular. For Bane, he had to gain the weight in a short period of time. So what we see that's different here is that he also gained a lot of fat. Now, with Bane, Bane's character is kind of in the shadows a lot. And the way he's done, he's not like a super ripped villain but he's just a big dude. And in an interview, Tom Hardy said, for the movie Bronson, I put on about seven pounds a week with no steroids. In the end, I'd put on about two and a half stone by eating chicken and rice, which was my staple diet throughout the day. Then I'd have pizza, Haagen-Dazs, and Coca-Cola. So not good stuff, but I had to put the weight on. Now, even though Tom Hardy's transformation is dramatic, the difference here is that compared to the other people I featured, he's a lot less cut and a lot less ripped. So you can tell he was a short period of time, and there was probably a lot more junk and a lot of excess calories in order to get there. Now, the fifth transformation here is Christian Bale going from the movie The Machinist all the way to Batman. Now, what was so dramatic here is that he lost a crazy amount of weight to look like this in the movie The Machinist. And then in under a year, I think, he had to play Batman, 
and he had to gain over 109 pounds. Now, this is interesting for a couple reasons. First of all, he still looks pretty good, big, and he still looks cut. There's not a lot of body fat there. And in an interview, this is what he said. The director, Christopher Nolan, asked me to try and put on as much weight as I could because he would find it very difficult to convince the studio to cast me if I was a beanpole. In doing so, I overdid it because I was enjoying gorging. I was ignoring advice about taking it slowly because my stomach had shrunk from the role in The Machinist and I should just go with soups. But I went straight into pizza and ice cream and eating five meals in a sitting. My stomach expanded really quickly. I got very sick during that time, but I enjoyed getting sick. I didn't mind it at all. In that short amount of time, I actually did go from 121 pounds right back up to 180 pounds, which is way too fast. So that resulted in some doctor visits to get things sorted out. So how did he actually do this? Well, one of the things was that he regained the weight he already had. So look at his role in the movie Equilibrium two years before. He was already a pretty big dude and fairly cut. So going down to the machinist, he wasn't really gaining 109 pounds of muscle. Your body pretty quickly can come back to its normal weight. So Christian Bale, in one sense, wasn't gaining that muscle. He was regaining almost his default or where he had been before. Still as impressive as hell. That is a look at how some celebrities have gained weight in a short period of time. Now, what about for you? I want to know what's been the challenge for you to get to your ideal physique. Leave a comment right there below because I want to hear. What's up, guys? I hope you liked that video. Now, the best way to stay in touch is come grab the free 7-day personal development and fitness weight loss challenge either on modernhealthmonk.com forward slash YouTube or in the description box right there below one of the first links. Also, you can come check out the latest videos that have just come out here and here. And otherwise, I will catch you in the next video.